and welcome to this week's episode of HEW TV. I'm your host, Peter Crockett, and as always, I'm here to bring you all the news and goings on of HEW Wrestling. See the end of the year out with HEW on Friday, the 27th of November, at the Starport Working Men's Club in Starport on Seven. On Saturday, the 28th of November, at Whistley Hall in Radstock, as part of Wessex Wrestling. On Saturday, the 5th of December, for our huge end-of-year show at Starport Civic Hall. And Tuesday, the 29th of December, at Wolverley Sports and Social Club. Answers, catch fans. We've all been waiting for answers. For months now, the identity of the baby-faced driver who ran down the mocho man Chris Cage so savagely has been a mystery to everyone, both in HEW and in Wessex. There have been accusations thrown around, teases from on up high, and speculation stretching back nearly five years. But finally, we get the answers we have been waiting for. Tonight, the mocho man Chris Cage holds wrestlers court to confront the man who put him on the shelf for all this time. <laughs> John, me, me, me and Kasha, you haven't heard from Cage, have you? Not a word. I'm starting to get really worried. I, it's been weeks now. No, I've, Still, I've, I've called him, I've texted him, I've sent him an email. Nothing. Nothing at all. Really worried. I, I don't know. Really don't know what we can do. This is the longest we've gone from not speaking to him. And I really don't know what... I spoke to some of the other boys who haven't heard nothing. Nothing, nothing at all. If you, hear, if you hear anything, let me know. Though, yeah? Definitely, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm definitely. Ready. Cheers, like, mate. yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Cheers, take mate. it easy, John. 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 Yeah, mate. What the hell is this? Baby face mask. Yeah, I've just found this in your bag, fella. What? It, please don't tell me you're the one that's run over cage. Nothing to do, mate. I, I've been looking for the baby face myself. I'm going to say, because I've just found this in your bag. When you went, this was sat on the top of your bag. What the hell's going on, Honestly, John? Mate, I swear to you, it's nothing to do with me, mate. Nothing at all. Well, how's it ended up there, then? Someone's planted that there. It's nothing to do with me, I promise you. We need, to keep this look, we need to keep looking for, for the baby face. We need to stay as a team. It's nothing to do with me, I promise you. Right. Nothing at all. Been planted, baby. He won't figure it out. What? He won't figure it out because he's got the IQ of a business studies teacher. It's not even a mandatory teacher's these subjects. We've waited long enough, Catch fans, so let's get you over to the Catchatorium where Mike Cash joins me in the booth to get a front row seat for Wrestler's Court. Now we're going to get down to business. We're going to find out who was the baby face that ran me over in the street by Mike Cash. Can you clock it? Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the millionaire, Mike Cash. Okay, 
So Mike Ash uh, demanded that he be at ringside for this. He is the owner of HGW Wessex. He obviously isn't a suspect in this, although I'm sure uh, he was the guy that paid for it. It couldn't have been him driving because I just wrapped his face in sellotape and throw him in a gravel pit. So, let's bring out the suspect, shall we? Okay, thanks gentlemen. Uh, I think this is the first time that wrestlers court has been held in the middle of the ring. But unfortunately, one of you guys ran me over and tried to not only end my career, but also possibly put me on the shelf for life as well. I'm gonna start over here. You guys might not know who these two guys are. Those of you that have been coming to the Wolverley shows for years will recognize them. This is Platinum Page, and this is The Brick. Now back in the day, me and this guy exchanged title victories with each other over a period of about six months. So this guy would have every reason to run me over. But, and this is a big but, uh, quiche size but, I know you didn't do it, Paige. We're fine now. Paige, one day, I won't mind seeing you back in the HGW, brother. You give it some thought, okay? Now this guy, the brick. There we go, you got a fan brick. I had some problems with some people in HGW, and I brought this guy in to be my partner. But, and again, it's another quiche size, but he threw me out of a rumble, and we had a bit of a head-to-head tete -head -tete. Yeah. But, I know it wasn't you, Brick. We've got history, and we're good. So I'll shake your hand, and again, I hope to see you back in this ring in HGW very soon. Thanks for coming, guys. I know it wasn't you. Josh Andrews, reborn Josh Andrews. It could very well have been Josh. Josh was the, uh, the mole in HGW, been being paid by that piece of crap, sat on the stage for quite a while. And he showed his true colors against Dan Stryker last week on HGW TV, live on YouTube, hosted by Petey Crockett, 280 hits. But you know something, Josh? I look at you here with your Tim Plate belt and your hairy chest. Your 1980s Back to the Future glasses. And I know it wasn't you because you've been spending too much time on Facebook liking naked chicks. You got out of the ring as well. Lewis Blade. Veteran Lewis Blade. I've known you a long time. We've gone across each other up and down the country. You've been on Cash's side now. You helped put this whole deal together, HGW Wessex. You were the architect of that. Do you know something, Lewis? I know it wasn't you as well. Because I know you weren't here that day. So you can leave the ring to my partner. And this guy that sent me a dead fox in a box for my wedding present. Who could it be? Mm. Let's think about it. My tag partner, or this guy that pays people to clean his feet for him. Mm. Who could it have been? The thing is, Sean, it wasn't Foxcatcher, it was you. John, Peter Crockett found the baby face mask in your bag. He confronted you and your answer was terrible. John, you've turned on me at least a hundred times in the past 15 years. It was definitely you, John. 287 people on YouTube saw that I gave a perfectly good explanation why that, app was, why that mask was in the bag. 287 people on YouTube know that it wasn't me. I've screwed you in the past fair enough, but you know, you know Pete Crockett and all these people know I wouldn't do it. I'm not that kind of man, am I? John, 
You've done it so many times before. Why wouldn't you do it now? Why wouldn't you want to be the top dog just as I'm coming back? Why do you want to keep your position at the top? It was definitely you, pal. 287 people on YouTube know that it definitely wasn't me. That's a fact. It wasn't you. It wasn't me. It wasn't you. It wasn't you. It wasn't Oh, it was definitely you. Petey Crockett found the baby face has. Petey! Okay, let me go and give him John. I'll tell you what the problem was, Petey. It was put there. It was probably put there by him or the real scan. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It was put there by him. This is brilliant. I love seeing the mega flowers fall apart. This is just brilliant. I tell you what, Cage. Damn, it's The perpetrator is very close. You know I wouldn't do it. Go on, Cage. You know, you know you're right. Cash. You know you could have paid him off. You know you paid him off. Damn. You've been paid off, man. Dan Stryker. He's put up with so much this past year, what with Josh Andrews' highly inappropriate advances towards her, to being kicked out of Team Wessex and screwed out of the light heavyweight title. Now to this. A slap literally in the face and a knife in the back as Sandy sides with Wessex once again and Mike Cash. If you'd like to book HEW Championship Wrestling at your venue or event, then email us at johnnyrosehew at yahoo.com or via our Facebook page or website. Right, let's get you to some catch action as it is time for the Pick Your Poison Battle Royale. The winner of this match gets to choose any match against any opponent at any time within the next year. All they have to do is throw all their fellow catchmen over the top rope so both feet hit the floor. Now, there is one wild card in this match and he goes by the name of Turbo Tommy Davis. Let's have a look at how Turbo Tommy wound up in this situation. <laughs> Quote. 
Due to the referee Tommy Turbo getting involved in this match, yeah, yeah. I am reversing the decision as a gesture of goodwill. Yes! So still, you are the unified champion, yes! the millionaire Mike Cash. However, Tommy Turbo, as you seem like you want to be involved in the action here in HCW, I'm adding you to the Pick Your Poison Rumble later tonight. And, yeah, and if you impress, there is potentially a HCW contract with your name on it. Happy Halloween, Catch fans. Hey, hey Turbo! <laughs> Guess who else is in that rumble? Yeah. Me. Yeah. Guess who's gonna throw you out? I don't think so. I can hey, we, uh, Tommy Turbo stepping up to the plate tonight. I'm not sure uh, what wrestling training Tommy Turbo has. He could be stepping into a room of hurt. Okay, let's get you back to the catchatorium for this huge matchup. Your commentary is provided by myself. Let's commence some catch. Ladies and gentlemen, your first two competitors in the Pick Your Poison Rumble. The Reborn, Josh Andrews! Come on, kids. Come on, Josh. Go on, man. Go on, Josh. Go Josh! And this is number one, Johnny! Yes, yes. 
Let's do it. 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 Let's
and the Mojo Man Chris Kane. Leading to Dean have been reconciled from earlier. Or I could 
get my tag partner in the ring. <laughs> and for December the 5th, Starport Civic Hall, HCW versus Wessex. Five on five, survival rules. And the team that wins gets ownership of HCW. I want to get you a company back for you, Peter Crockett. Johnny Rose is going to be the man to help me do it. And we're going to get another three guys to help us with it as well. What you guys say, HCW back in HCW? Yeah! Here we go, Peter Crockett. That's our choice of match. Where's he going? Where's he going? For everything HCW, find us on Facebook at HCW Pro Wrestling or New Page. On our website, www.hewwrestling.com and on YouTube at HCW Wrestling UK. The Mojo Man Chris Cage back to winning ways and setting up a huge 5 on 5 Survivor Elimination Tag match between HCW and Wessex Wrestling to get HCW back into the hands of yours truly. I for one cannot wait for this to happen, however you'll have to stay tuned to HEW TV to see how events unfold. From my cash joint, I've been your host, Peter Crockett. Till next time, catch fans.